Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, and on my calendar, I got it set up for legs today, and I don't feel like doing legs today. Hence, my workout. I don't have a coach. I can do it how I want to. I decided I'm going to make today my Saturday and do isolation, because that sounds like a lot more fun. So, I got up a, a few implements set up here. I wanted to show you what I go through when I do isolation. Um, I pretty much have it at the end of the week usually, just so that if there's something I missed, something I didn't feel like I did enough on, then I can put it on Saturday, just do another set, a couple sets of it, uh, put it in a whole workout routine, whichever, just to make it more fun. Um, so what I got here is I got my weight bench set up. You can see it's not got much on it. I think I counted out it's about 65 pounds. I'm going to do a wide grip bench press on that to uh, work my chest out and then down here <clears throat> I got on each side 245 dumbbells to do a uh, dumbbell bench press I don't do that uh, when I do chest uh, just overload the bar as heavy as possible uh, as far as the bench press is concerned and then I'll also change the incline today to add incline into it which I don't do during chest day <clears throat> for legs I have down here on the leg extension uh, just a little bit of weight to like I said for isolation just to do things that don't get included on leg days or something to just uh, do a little bit more work on the legs I also uh, got me a homemade row machine here where if I show you the whole thing this is the back end of it to where it's got the pivot piece right here that I ordered online from Amazon it's got that piece I got uh, 60 pounds or 55 pounds of weight here on the floor just to make sure it don't move. I got two 35 pound dumbbells and then this is my homemade device right here. You can see it. These are the blocks that I'll step on just like on a row machine at your gym when you stand up on the platform. And then this right here is a, a custom... A, Took it from a pull-up bar and I've taken it down to just a handlebar piece to where you can grab a hold of it and lift it. And then right here, I got 50 and this is 15, so 65 pounds. So it's about 70, maybe 75 pounds for a row. And then, uh, of course, I got my dip machine here, which I use chains to do dips. And then right here on the floor, I got some really light weights to do all the deltoid exercises. I usually throw the deltoids in on uh, arm day, but uh, I also like to include it on isolation day. And uh, my last thing I got here is I took my power tower and made a cable pull down with some cheap concrete weights that uh, was given to me. So that's all that's on there. It's uh, 30, about 40 pounds of weight. And I got two different handles I use. I use this one, which is from a uh, uh, dumbbell bar that I've uh, made a wrist pull attachment into it. But I can also hook it to this and to this uh, clamp up here and make it a pull down bar. And then I also got these individual grips that I can hook to it to make it to where I could isolate muscles when I'm doing those pull downs. <laughs> Uh, I'll do a video of that uh, later on to show how some of these things that I've built work. Uh, but they pretty much work like all the machines that you see in the gym. So if somebody wants to see that, they can comment to, hey, you know, how do you use those things at your house compared to the ones at the gyms? I'll do a video. But if nobody's asking for a video, I'm not doing it because right now, and like I said in a previous video, I am dealing with, uh, got two projects that's at school that are left to be done. And so I don't have a lot of time to do videos. So that's why I was throwing this one together real quick, just to show you um, uh, what my isolation day usually looks like. As for that, that is the end of this video. And I hope you guys like it and I hope uh, you guys continue to subscribe and comment and just leave suggestions of videos you'd like to see. We're still going uh, on the mask test. Uh, uh, 
up increased the elevation yesterday i uploaded a picture on facebook uh so it is now at six thousand feet and i've wore it once this week so far as i said you know this is pretty much typical of any athlete that is not just uh spending every day working out it's somebody that's going to school going to work where you don't get a chance to just uh, um wear the mask every single day so this is like real life um test here compared to laboratory tests where people get to use it straight every day for six weeks um so we'll get some real numbers out of this uh and me using it for rest instead of while working out uh you know it puts a different little spin on it compared to the way most people uh use the mask or even use it in the laboratory test so like i said stay tuned and more videos will follow hope you guys have a wonderful thanksgiving eat some turkey happy thanksgiving